all. Welcome to CHMS event for World Education Week. I warmly welcome all of you to join us in this event, sponsored by T4 Education and Chunghua Middle School Bandar Sri Begawan for World Education Week. I am Veronica Chan, Head of Humanities Department at Chunghua Middle School Bandar Sri Begawan, and I'm your host for today. There are a few housekeeping rules that I would like to share with you. Firstly, kindly ensure that all your devices microphone are muted. Secondly, to ensure that your cameras are turned off at all times. We will be sharing a forms link and a QR code so that you can register your participation for this event. We encourage you to do this to ensure that you will receive a certificate of participation from the organizers T4 Education. If you have any questions, please use the chat box found on the right hand side of your screen to message or to interact with us. Lastly, we will also have a Q&A box so that you can post your questions regarding the event to our panel speakers. Your questions will be answered at the end of the session. Without further ado, I will now pass the time to our first moderator, Madam Kalpana Kishore Kumar. Thank you, Veronica. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the world's biggest online conference, the World Education Week, organized by T4 in partnership with Chihuahua Middle School, Bandar Sri Bhagawan. Our theme for this conference is the use of technology, and our session title is Rethinking Teaching, Learning and Assessment in Order to Drive Deep 21st Century Competencies. Technology is a powerful tool which is changing the world, not about what we learn on how we learn. It has revolutionized the educational or instructional technology. Schools have been adapting for a long time and it has totally revamped, redesigned the whole learning process. The unsaid gap between the teachers and students is bridged today because of technology and the teacher's role has evolved into something more than a teacher, into a facilitator, a mentor, advisor, etc. Our SDG goal 4 aims to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all students. CHMS BSB aims to cater to the needs of the community and our practices reflect SDG goal 4. With that notion shared, I would like to begin this event. I have been talking about CHMS BSB and as a teacher, it is understood that I work for CHMS. So how about let's hear from someone who is not as uh, who is not involved with CHMS. Hi everybody, it's Mark here from Microsoft uh, in Seattle, Washington State. Um, I'd like just to talk a couple of moments about Chunghua Middle School in Darussalam, Brunei. They've been part of our global showcase school for many years and what struck me about this school is its absolute commitment to contributing its ideas best practice back to the education community beyond their own school beyond their local schools their own country right out across the world and this has been consistent year over year over year you could not get a more enthusiastic more action oriented collection of educators and an inspiring school leader. So Chunghua Middle School very much is a great school to be part of this conversation because they're just focused on contributing back best practice where technology meets pedagogy. So thank you. Uh, Chunghua Middle School, Darussalam, Brunei for all that you do to empower every learner on the planet to achieve more. That's Mark Powell for you guys. Mark is currently working for Microsoft Worldwide and he's placed at uh, Washington DC, United States. Let me share a brief uh, description about this session. It is a panel discussion where you are going to witness the school administration who are participating. Example, the session is headed by Principal Madam Ko, our Assistant Principal Madam Tan, Computer Studies HOD Matthew Wong, and we have three student speakers and it is time to begin our panel discussion. Today's 
classrooms are ruled by technology. From mobile phones, tablet computers to touchscreen interactive whiteboards, you can see their impact. As technology drives novel changes in education, groundbreaking developments and innovation is happening across the world. That allows policymakers and school leaders to infuse technology into the curriculum. Good morning, everyone. Kindly allow me to introduce myself. I am Katna Kishor Kumar, Head of Digital Learning Department, Chungwa Middle School, BSP, Rune Dar Salaam. I am your moderator for this session. We have learned that technology itself is not transformative. It is the school, the pedagogy implemented that leads to transformation. With the thought shared loud and clear, allow me to welcome you all for this uh, event organized by Chumba Middle School in partnership with T4 Education on the theme, The Use of Technology. Our session is a panel discussion among eminent members of the school management. That includes school principal, assistant principal, the head of the department. We are also featuring student speakers to add voices to make this discussion fair and square. Our title for this panel discussion is Rethinking Teaching, Learning and Assessment in order to drive the 21st century competencies. Let me give you a brief introduction about Chikwa Middle School Bandasini Bhagwan. It is a school that celebrates pioneering efforts in redefining education with innovative practices by instructional technology blended with pedagogy. A centenary celebration is due in 2022 that speaks volumes about the progressive approaches adapted and which empowers the school board to facilitate holistic education to the young minds along with sharing a commitment to emphasize on the well-being of the future generation. CHMS BSB is always at the forefront in assimilating novel practices that is well supported by the IT structure. The school adapt contemporary pedagogies such as blended or flip learning, project-based learning to personalized learning into a reality. During the week of pandemic, the school efficiently practiced remote learning followed by hybrid learning when de-escalations announced. The students were well accustomed to technology as lessons were delivered using standardized tech tools such as Microsoft Teams and Class Studio for primary. Thus, the efforts instigated by the school helped the students to transcend time and geographical limitations through novel practices. Allow me to introduce our first speaker, an eminent education leader in Brunei. She is an incredible woman, a veteran, who knows everything about the school. She is a public figure who has been applauded for her service to the school, the community for more than four decades. Her passion, dedication and commendable work ethics has won her several awards and accolades. Especially, His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei Dar Salaam has conferred her with the most prestigious award, the most outstanding school leader in Brunei in the year 2011. Recently, she has won another award for Outstanding School Leader category from the Taipei Economic and Cultural Representative Office. A warm welcome to Madam Ho, Principal CHMS BSB. Our second speaker is a passionate educator, an able administrator, a self-taught tech expert who is driven about teaching with technology. She has represented the school in various national and international forums and conferences. A notable figure in Malay language teaching, she is also the ambassador for Malay language in Brunei Dar Salaam. Her determination has gained numerous awards and recognition locally and nationally. She has been conferred with special mention award, excellence award in teaching by His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei Dar Presently, she is working as the assistant principal of the secondary section and the head of Malay language department for Chumba Middle School, Brunei Dar 
It is a great pleasure to have you in the Panel Marita. Uh, here is some info about our third speaker. He is the head of Computer Studies Department. He is a great subject expert and leads the school with his valuable guidance. His resourcefulness led the school to win many ICT accolades, both in national and international competitions. His innovative ideas and thoughts have set out many remarkable projects. It is great to have you as our panelist, Mr. Matthew. Now it is time to introduce our student speakers. We have three terrific students who are eager to share their perspectives. Allow me to introduce Anita from Year 9 Science, Fiona from Year 10 Science, and Owen from Year 9 Science. Thank you for joining us, guys. Let's kick start our panel discussion. Madam Ko, I have a question for you. From what I have gathered, you are the driving force behind the integration of ICT at Chikwamil School. I know that it is not an easy task. How did you successfully integrate technology in this school? Thank you, Kapana. So today, we are currently facing an array of complex challenges from working with an increasingly diverse population of students to meet rigorous academic standards and goals. In this 21st century, technology has changed our communication and how we go about our lives. Very few educators would disagree with the notion that technology has dramatically changed the teaching and learning process. Technology integration into the curriculum revolutionizes teaching and learning. As a school leader, I realized that harnessing technology in the school will happen only when the leaders, policy makers, lead it. From my experience, I would say that app technology must be recognized, well researched, explored, and enhanced. Technology today, we have hundreds of new technology available. We are excited about new technology as they allow us to break the barrier in teaching and it is more student-centered. Thus, this transformation has us to be a forerunner in delivering student-focused, teachers-inspired environment. Thank you, Madam Ko. Rightly said, student-focused, teachers-inspired environment is what schools need today. I learned from my experience that technology integration is not an event. It is just a part of everyday learning. Now, Anitan, could you tell us how technology has aided you in school administration? Thank you, Madam Kapana. Educational technologies have the potential to alter greatly how schools are run and how students learn. Our school is highly digitalized, meaning we profoundly use technology in every department. Lesson plans and assessment are carried out all digitally. The school used Microsoft Teams for past two years, and for me as an administrator, Microsoft Teams has made my job more convenient. I can check teachers' lesson plan, skip of work, and class detail anywhere and anytime. Teachers use OneNote staff notebooks for everyone to work collaboratively and smartly. Also, during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, technology helped me monitor remote learning classes. I was able to see what was happening in each class and I was also able to join meetings to check how students were doing during the live online lessons. In like manner, meeting, were, meeting with teachers were conducted through Microsoft Team. Feedback, suggestions, and surveys were also easily obtained from parents as well as teachers 
using Microsoft Form. On the whole, technology has innumerable advantages to us school administrators. Well said, Madam Tham. Thank you. In education, technology can be a game changer. It offers more opportunities to be involved in the learning experience. Now, Mr. Matthew, as a computer studies teacher and the head of the department, what is your opinion about using technology for teaching and learning in education? Thank you, Madam Kapana. We use technology in every aspect, but technology alone doesn't improve education. As a result, with the integration of technology in the classroom environment for teaching and learning for specific topic or subjects in accordance with the context can bring enormous benefits to education. Especially in recent years, with the advancement of the ICT, our students have been utilizing and integrating technology with their subjects and research projects. According to some experts, technology integration is a progressive process because teachers need to recognize educational uh, technology and understand that it can be used with specific subjects. Teachers have to form a favorable attitude to accept it so that teachers can prepare different activities with technology and with time applying different experiences improving the use of technology, evaluating the result of the decisions, and finally integrated effectively for teaching and learning. The adoption or resistance of technology is a complex process. Teachers need time to change their practices. And I always agree that sharing experiences is one of the best way to promote new teaching methodology and therefore the effective integration of technology will be depending on the circumstances which deems appropriate or suitable. Uh, the best example has been the adaptation of the uh, virtual or online learning process due to the pandemic situation. For the past few months our school has been utilizing Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Teams for conducting online lessons and integrating with various tools to communicate and collaborate with each other. Personally, I think this is a very valuable learning experience and I think it's the same for everyone else. Therefore, it's fair to say that technology has changed the world that we live in and we in turn change the way how technology is being used Thank you, Teacher Matthew. I second your opinions because that is what we educators feel as well. And uh, the landscape is not the same anymore. It has been changed, it has been altered. Wonderful thoughts. Thank you very much. Please. Now, Anika, I know that you have been learning um, a technology from kindergarten and So, could you share with us? How technology has helped you to acquire multiple competencies? Okay, first of all, technology has extended learning beyond classroom walls. This has really boosted my creativity and encouraged me to think outside the box, which is one of the crucial 21st century skills. Um, other than that, technology has also helped me learn to collaborate with others. For example, through Microsoft Teams, especially during this pandemic when we had online lessons. At the same time, I've also acquired leadership skills because many group project discussions were done online where we had to lead our own group members to conduct research and create PowerPoint presentations. Um, I also feel like my communication skills has improved a lot with the use of technology. Since technology exposes us to communities from all over the world, I've really learned how to
That's brilliant, Hakika. I think uh, to put it very simple, that is why you are here today and it shows how well you have developed your communication skills, your 21st century skills, whatever you have mentioned. So that's great. Now, Madam Ko, I will have this question and I want to listen to what you have to say about this. How does you uh, integrate uh, technology? How well it aligns with your school mission and mission? Thank you. Our school mission and mission statement are simple, yet powerful. We aim for our students to excel both in academic study and in sports, and let them to become successful individuals in the future. We adopt innovative approaches to engage learners, who to help them to foster creativity and develop learning. Digital literacy helps students to perform well within and beyond the school. With technology, students today learn more complex yet important skills that are mandatory for their future jobs. Our students are grow better as they learn more. They go with anytime, any way, any device learning. Our students are always connected with the real world due to the advancement of technology. We use variety of text tools in the classroom and allow them to learn and develop new solutions to solve the real world problems. All in all, technology equips our students to take responsibility in their own learning and provides them wide opportunity in order to succeed in their lives. That's impressive, Madam Ko. Technology integration is not an event. It is a part of everyday learning. And uh, you have said it very simply but powerfully. Now, since Matt, who has mentioned this, I'm quite eager to ask you about the challenges. Okay, uh, Madam Tan, this is my question for you. Tell us about the impediments, the stumbling blocks that uh, you have faced as an educator as an administrator and tell us how you tackle them and um, especially in terms with teaching, assessment, learning, etc. Thank you, Madam Kapana. Technologies that enhance classroom instruction and school administration are widespread. However, as a school administrator, they are concerned to technology implementation. A few among them are First, teachers believe on the value of technology. Some teachers hold the view that student access to technology causes discipline problems or diffuse emphasis on traditional academic content. Other teachers may suffer from computer anxiety or be afraid of facing the learning challenges inherent in pursuing technology use. However, informal support group, especially, especially teachers in the department, help each other. They establish a mentoring relationship, which also help teachers more easily accept the potential role of technology in the classroom. This is done during their departmental meeting or during research and development meetings. Uh, second is lack of ICT competence teacher. Teachers tend to perceive themselves to be technologically incompetent and often feel this feel and demoralized when they first begin to use computers in the classroom. So in this case, Teachers are convinced of the value of ICT. The school continuously encourages them and conduct professional development training on technology. Teachers conduct sharing sessions in both in school level 
and their respective departments. Third, in is a resistance to change and insufficient knowledge forces by teachers. We cannot erase the fact that some teachers resist change. They think that they were able to learn without technology before. However, time is different now. We are now in the digital era, so we need to go with the flow. Or else, we will be left behind or even replaced by those who are brave enough to embrace change. Also, some distance themselves from computers. They are scared of it. However, teachers of the 21st century are expected to be the key drivers in the implementation of ICT. They should be able to apply new technologies in their pedagogical practices to allow students to construct knowledge. The resistance to change is due to insufficient knowledge processed by teachers. Our school faced this challenge at the beginning of the implementation of ICT in our school many years ago. The school provided training for teachers consistently. Today, teachers are more comfortable to integrate ICT in their lesson. This resistance to change does not exclude school leadership. The attitude of school leadership is influential in the integration of ICT in the school. We are happy that our school principal and our school board of directors are very supportive in the integration of ICT in the school. Lastly, is the availability and accessibility of unfiltered or uncensored information. There are plenty of information available in the web today. As a school administrator, we want students to use the right technology and the resources for learning. Parents worry about the safety of children while using technology and we can understand their concern. There were also other challenges such as some students were slow to learn as their parents did not want the kids to be exposed to technology and they were slow to grasp and find learning challenging. The lack of internet access or unstable internet connection also is a challenge for us. Absolutely true, man, man, because we owe it all to the board of directors and uh, of course our principal for instigating us to take the lead, to learn and to bring the change. And uh, I also agree that attitude of the teachers matters because I myself know how technology scare you and uh, how teachers resisted uh, the change. But if you want to be the leader, you have to accept the change. Anyway, my question is about this change factor also. Fiona, I gather that you have earned a quite an achievement, especially in the Asia ICT competition. Especially, uh, I think it is in last number, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, now, share with us how learning technology all these years has helped you to win this recognition. The world has changed a lot now, and we depend heavily on technology. With technology, I get to learn a lot of new knowledges, skill, and do numerous things via the internet. I always have an idea to develop an app that helps the community and solve real-world issues. So I partner up with my friend Angel. We develop an anti-bullying app called Tyrematon. We participated in the Brunei ICT Awards, Big Da, and competition targeted to create and develop creative and innovative app that help the community and benefit all. We were declared as runner-up. Soon, we were able to forward our project to the Asia-Pacific level. 
we participated in the Asia Pacific ICT Awards, APICTA. We won the Merit Award out of 324 nominations. At first, while developing this app, we had a lot of apprehensions. We were scared that this app would not cope with the technology field. However, as we continued developing this app, we found the importance of having this app. Now, I have the urge to work in the technology field and not falling behind with any affairs. With technology, I learned to advance myself without the help of others by becoming more active and less passive, finding online resources that are useful to me. I am still in the process of improving myself. All in all, I enjoy being involved in this technology field and will always continue to do so. Nicely said. Well, students, if you are watching this, uh, let me say this to you. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. But if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. And Fiona, you are really an icon for uh, an aspirant, for an achiever, and maybe something more in future. Okay, now, uh, Owen, your friends have been talking about technology, they have been raving how beneficial it is and all. It does help them to learn, unlearn and relearn, especially the concepts, the terms and the apps, etc. Now, what is your input regarding this? How learning using technology has benefited you and how it is going to benefit you for your future, especially in your future studies, when you go to university, etc. Okay, technology encourages collaborative learning as it allows people with the same interests to gather and collaborate with each other. With the help of online technology, people from all over the world can share their opinions, solutions, and seek help from others. On the other hand, individual learning makes it difficult for us to decide what is right and wrong. Therefore, with the practice of collaborative learning, I strongly believe that our future life will be improved greatly in terms of jobs and skills. My passion, entrepreneurship, is one of the careers which highly requires collaboration because entrepreneurs are ones who are eager to share and receive innovative information and ideas. I also trust that collaboration motivates and inspires me whenever I am near to the path of giving up, as someone is constantly pushing me to change and giving me new suggestions. Other than that, collaboration also solves the problem faced by the company. The harder the obstacles, the more productive and engaged the company is. On the whole, this attitude will produce outcomes which further exceed the initial expectation and aim of the company, which leads to an acceleration in the business profitability and economic growth. Thanks, Owen. You have shared uh, very well about your perspective and your experience and how technology is going to be beneficial for your future. And that brings me to the final questions for today's panel discussion. And I mean, this question is for both of you, it is about school leadership. So, if uh, other schools across the world, if they want to replicate this process, what are the five steps that you recommend for schools who want to take up a journey that is very similar to yours. First, assess and improve your school climate. Second, readiness, preparatory solution for integrating technology in the classroom for trainers and educators. Third, ensure that you harness effective technology in the classroom. For a follow through comprehensive professional research and development for teachers. Last but not least, adapt yourself to their feedback and suggested improvement. That's all from us. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Manco and Manitan are beautifully sounded for us. Schools have to inculcate technology to power up their classrooms to improve students' learning of calm. Just remember, Technology is no substitute for an inspiring teacher. A teacher like him, teacher like so many millions of us. Okay? As a school, if you want to drive future-ready skills, you should redesign 
You should reimagine your teaching, learning and assessment strategies with technology. The best combination I would suggest from today's session is that combine great teachers' tech skills to engage students in the pursuit of learning. Technology in the hands of teachers becomes a powerful tool that empowers students to rethink, to redesign and it unleashes the future ready skills. That's a wrap ladies and gentlemen. I believe that you enjoyed our panel discussion. I thank our panel members for joining me for today's conversation. Thank you Madam Po, thank you Madam Tan, thank you students, last but not the least. Thank you. Thank you ladies and gentlemen and uh, now is the question and answer session. I, um, after waiting the questions, we have uh, four important questions that I think we can uh, take time to answer. This is uh, addressed to the school leader. Are all of the school administrators and staff computer literate? Madam Go, could you please answer this? Yes, from uh, all of your uh, administrator and our staff, they are computer literate. Because all the transaction it must be done in computer. So all of them they know the basic knowledge of computer. Okay. And then they have the uh, department head that train their own department teachers. We have school wide professional development training station so that they can get the use of different technology applications. Thank you, Madhuko. Uh, I think this is also addressed to the school leader. How do you use technology to deliver effective formative assessments? Madam Tan, could you please answer this question? Okay, yes, Madam My answer is. Um, in our school, we use technology only in quizzes, uh, topical and summative tests, and also in surveys and other lessons and activities. Uh, we do not use it yet as a tool uh, for formative assessment, uh, though we have um, already used it when our school joined in program for international student assessment. It started in 2018 uh, when Brunei first time joined ISA. Other than that, um, we also used the assessment uh, for school ICAS conducted by Southwest Australia. So far, this is what we use for the technology. Thank you, Madam. Now to the student speakers. Um, do you prefer teacher using technology while teaching? And why is that? Could any of you can answer? Okay, I'll answer this question. Yes, I actually really like it when teachers use technology when teaching because it really does make learning more interesting. For example, our teachers use games to help us understand the topic better. And other than that, we also watch videos online where we get to listen to a different teacher explaining the same topic. And I find that really beneficial to our learning. Thanks, Harika, for answering this question. And there is one more question that is addressed to student speakers. How do you help your Technology challenge classrooms. Could anyone answer? I will answer this question. So specifically, we have to edit a project via the Microsoft Teams. So I've taught my friends how to upload their project into Microsoft OneDrive and then share the project link and paste it into the collaborative notebook of Microsoft Teams. Although the process of handing in might be a little bit slow, but it is quite hassle free because we don't need any pen drive or any hard disk to transfer the project here and there. So I found a transition of project using technology tools is very efficient. Right. 
Thank you, Fiona. And uh, these are the questions that we have. All right, so with uh, QA has been answered, I will uh, move to the vote of thanks. It's my privilege to have been uh, asked to propose this vote of thanks as a moderator of the session. I'm greatly indebted to DFO Education for organizing this World Education Week, and we are extremely delighted to be a part of this event. I, on behalf of CHMS and the entire fraternity of the school, extend my most sincere thanks to our board of directors, our principal, Madam Ko, Madam Tan, who spared their time from their busy schedules to be a part of this panel. I thank all the speakers for praising their crucial work and sharing with us their opinion and finding the time to do that. Furthermore, a big thank you to my team the Microsoft Innovative Educator Experts for being the champion in assisting the event. Special thanks to our Madam Emily for driving this crazy live event to a great success. It is a pleasure to shout out a few names, Madam Pang, Madam Gladys, Madam Kim, for running this backend operations. I also thank Madam Suen and Chukuang for um, controlling the social media post as well. With deep gratitude offer my uh, deepest sense of appreciation to our students speakers and uh, and I think that uh, I should thank all the volunteers because of whom we made this function possible. I also specifically thank the people who have been the backbone of the event, our technical team, Mr. Chan, our photographer, our logistic team, Mr. Daniel, Madam Chan, who had been a uh, great support in running this logistics as well. I also thank uh, T4 team, Mr. Uh, Mr. Vikas Kota, Kirsten Thompson, Mr. Brian, and Mr. Omar for their suggestions and feedback throughout this process. And uh, I specifically thank Madam Ko one more time because she had been uh, great, very accommodating and uh, for giving us this opportunity to come back. I do I agree that there were technical difficulties and uh, but still we managed to do this and I appreciate for all your hard work and this. Thank you very much.